Hi everyone and thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today I do have a little dupes video here. So the dupe for today is going to be for the Master Palette by Mario and Anastasia Beverly Hills. Unfortunately this palette is no longer available. This was only a limited edition palette. Um, but I've seen a few things on Instagram that have me a little iffy on it. If They might bring it back but I'm not sure. I think I've seen like a few things like here and there like you know maybe they're working on a new palette or maybe they're bringing back and bringing this palette back who knows we'll have to wait and see <laughs> but I did find a dupe or a similar palette to this and it is by Bad Habit it is the artistry palette this just came out last week I believe it was Thursday um, and I got this on the shop hush app I know I just did a video hauling a whole bunch of their palettes so if you guys want to go ahead and see that I'll link it, down, link, link it down below I can never say that all at once you guys try saying that <laughs> um, but yeah so let me show you what the inside of these palettes look like and look at that you guys does that not call dupe or what? Like, they are identical. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is what I did use today. And if you guys want to stick around and see which palette I have in which eye, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so for today we will be using these two palettes right here. So like I said before, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Master Palette by Mario. And this is the Bad Habit Artistry Palette. Um, this just came out a few days ago, so right away I was like, I need to get that just because I do own the Master Palette. Um, unfortunately, like I said, also it is not in stock anymore. This is, this was only a limited edition palette. Um, but I don't know, you guys. I've seen a few things on Instagram. Um, I don't know if it was on Mario's page or on Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Instagram. But they had kind of like a, like a teaser. So I don't know if they're coming back with this palette. But if they do, this would be such a good palette to get, you guys. I really do recommend it. I have used it before and I actually do have a tutorial using this palette. Um, but I'll link, it, I'll link it down below so you guys can, you know, check it out. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and dive into these palettes right here. So like I said, this is the Artistry Palette by Bad Habit. Um, and if you guys can see, even the packaging is kind of the same. They have the black and gold um, packaging. Um, the gold on this one is actually a lot more vi vibrant than this one. This is just more like um, a, like toned down gold color. So let me go ahead and open these palettes up. Now I just got the um, this palette in the mail yesterday, I believe. Um, but yeah, I did get this yesterday, and let me open the other one. So, I'm going to put them right next to each other. So this is what the Bad Habit um, palette looks like, right there. So it does come with a nice mirror. Um, what I like about these palettes is that they all come with a mirror, which is great, uh, just because they're easier, like if you want to you know take it with you when you're traveling you don't have to take like an additional mirror with you um, so yeah this is what this one looks like and I'm just trying to look at it and see if there's anything um, wrong with it I do see that one of the shadows here is kind of like crooked there but nothing to worry about <laughs> and this is what the inside of the master palette looks like so I'll put them both together here so you guys can see so they're very, very similar, if you guys can tell there. So that is what the palettes look like. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do uh, a makeup look using both of them. And I will be using um, different brushes. So I have like a set of two um, of each. That way I can go in and, you know, tell you the difference between um, the Artistry Palette by Bad Habit and then the Mario Palette. But... Look at that, you guys. I'm just, like, staring at it, and it looks exactly the same. Like, they're... Even the placement of the shadows are pretty similar. I know with other palettes, they try to, like, move them around in different areas. But this one's pretty similar, so... I can't wait to dive in. <laughs> Alright, so let me go ahead and start with, um... 
I don't even know what kind of look I'm going for right now, so I'm just going to wing it, which most of my videos, that's what I do, but that's how I come up with things. <laughs> so let me put this hair back because it is in my way and I, so this is what my natural hair looks like, you guys. It is a big mess. That's why I never have it down because I feel like it's all in my face here. But let me go ahead and zoom you guys in. And as you can tell, I already have my foundation on. I did my brows off camera because it would have taken two years for me to, you know, have this all in one video. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm going to zoom you guys in so you guys can see how this works out. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and use the um, Master Palette on my left eye, and I'm going to be using the Bad Habit Artistry Palette on my right side. So we know where all this is going. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to go in first um, with a fluffy brush. So these are the two fluffy brushes I'm going to go in with. This one is a LAB brush, just blending brush. And this one, I honestly don't even know who um, is the maker of this brush. It just says 224 brush on it. I don't think it's a Morphe brush. I think we got it in one of our subscription boxes, which, I mean, I don't know where that um, where it came from. So, like I said, I'm going to go in with this um, Master Palette on my left eye first. And I'm going to be going in with the color Isabel, which is this color right here. And I'm going to blend that um, above my crease. And now I love these shadows, you guys. They do not um, have a lot of fallout or anything. They're just really, really good. And now going in with the Artistry Palette, I am going in with the color Aria. I believe that's how you pronounce it, but it's like the exact same color as Isabel. And they're even literally in the same spot, but that's where it is here. And I'm going to go ahead and use the LAB blending brush on this side. And what I'm noticing is that this palette actually has... A little bit more of fallout than the Anastasia one. Okay, so there goes both shadows, you guys. And to be honest, there's like no difference whatsoever. Just trying to see like... There's like literally no difference between both shadows at all. Now, like I did mention, this one actually has a little bit more of fallout than the actual Master Palette. But, um, like I've mentioned before in a lot of my videos, I do not mind fallout. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> but um, as long as you're able to like work with it, then I'm totally fine with it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and deepen up my crease. And for that, I'm going to be going in with the color Violetta, which is this color right here. I don't know why is this not zooming in, but it's that color right there. And it is the more chocolatey color in the palette. And for that, I'm going to be using a Morphe E28 brush, which is a fluffy brush, but it's a little bit more tapered at the top, so it's kind of more pointed. And it's going to be perfect for the crease. So, left eye. <laughs> okay, so there goes the color uh, Violetta in the actual crease. And now, going in with the Artistry Palette, I'm going to go in with the color Tuscany which is the same color as a Violetta. And for that, I'm going to be using, let's see, what brush do I have? So I have a crown brush, and it's the C41 
2 yes c412 pointed crease brush it's similar to the morphe um one that i use which is the e28 um so i'm going to use this one for my crease now just keep in mind with the artistry palette i'm actually going in little by little more than the um anastasia one because i already know how that one works so this one i just don't want it to you know be so like pigmented in me going in with it right away I'm just scared it's going to be like a big mess, but so far with the first shade, I didn't feel like it was like hard to blend or anything like that. So let's see with this color. What I've no I'm noticing that if you guys can tell the Mario palette it's a lot more chocolatey like a more chocolatey color than the artistry palette if you guys can see it's a lot more darker than this side but let me see if I can I'm gonna go back in with the original shade which was the color Aria and I'm gonna try to blend everything Yeah, so that color is a lot more darker than the color Violetta. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like gathering up right here, like in the weirdest way. Like, I'm trying to get a close-up, but... So I am noticing that I'm having a little bit of trouble blending this one out as to this one. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's just making it a lot more harder. Let me get the other brush here. So with the Artistry palette, it's just making it a little harder to actually blend everything together. Okay, so, so far, this is what it looks like. Um, I feel like the color Aria and the color Isabel in this palette. Obviously, the Isabel one is a little bit more um, pigmented than the Aria one. And it's just a lot more richer. Like, it's a lot more um, pigmented and darker than Aria in the Artistry palette. Um... And obviously the color Tuscany is actually a lot more darker than the color Violetta in the Mario palette. So that's why it's just making it a lot more harder to actually blend everything together. But at the end, I will hopefully fix it. <laughs> Alright, so now for my outer corner here, I'm going to go in with a color a little bit more darker. I'm trying to see which one... Um, I can use because there's only one two three so there's three matte shades in these palettes um, which you know they are the same color mattes in both of them and the other ones are like a shimmery color which I'm kind of hesitant to go in with the shimmery color but I'm gonna go in with the shimmery color no matter what <laughs> so let me go in with the M um, M321 by Morphe, which is a pointed brush like you see here. And I'm going to go in with the color... I'm going to go in with the color NYC from the Master Palette. And I'm going to use that one in my outer V just to deepen up the um, outer V here. So there goes the outer V from the um, Master Palette there. Now going in with the Artistry Palette, the color most similar to that one um, is actually in the color Frida. So I'm going to go ahead and use a different um, brush here, which is the Royal and Ling Nickel brush. And this is the... 
BX95, so I don't know if that's the name of it, but that's like the only thing on the brush besides that it says Revolution and Royal and Ling Nickel. So I'm going to go in with the color Frida, like I said. So right off the bat, the first thing that I notice is that the Artistry palette actually has a lot of fallout. So there's some right here on the bottom, but the Mario palette did not have any fallout at all. Um, but the shades are like literally the exact same color. Like I do not see a difference in the shade. But yeah, that's what they look like right there. Now I'm going to go in to the first original shade which is the color Aria and um, on the artistry wrong brush <laughs> on the um, artistry palette and just I'm going to go ahead and try to blend everything together and now going in with the other brush let me clean it off a little and going with the color Isabel and blend this side. So that is a both of them. I know right now it looks like really messy, um, but I promise you it'll come out right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go in with a Luxie brush here, the Pro Precision Precision Tapered Brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dust that fallout out because like I said I already did my face makeup and I don't want it to get worse there but so far like I said I'm noticing that the Frida color and the NYC color are both looking really good they are a pretty good match um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more on the Anastasia side because for this color for the Frida and the color NYC, I feel like the Frida color in the Artistry palette is actually a lot more pigmented. Like it has a little bit more of like a, um, a shine to it, or like not a shine, but like a sparkle, or just has, it's, it looks a lot more vibrant. That's what I'm trying to say. There goes that. And now to go in with the actual lid shade, I'm going to go in with the color, I kind of want to use the color Marina. Yeah, I'm going to use the color Marina in the Anastasia one, which is this beautiful pink, like, champagne -y color right there. And for that, I'm going to be using a Luxie 213T brush, which is these little tiny ones that we got in our BoxyCharm. And I'm going to go in first just with um, no enhancer or anything, no fix plus, or um, spray just to see the pigmentation. And that is like absolutely amazing. There goes the Mario side with the color Marina and now I'm going to go in with the Artistry palette and the color that is similar to the Marina shade is this one right here which is in the color Sophia and for that I'm going to be using another Luxie brush which also came with that other one but this is more it's like a shader brush but it seems a little bit more longer um, the bristles are a lot more longer than the other one so I'll show you guys here the difference so this one's more shorter than this one, but it's going to do the same thing. <laughs> so for this one, it is the Luxie 227T brush. And like I said, with the first one, the color Marina, I did not use any Fix Plus or anything to intensify the color because it already is such a pretty color on its own like that. So let me try this color, Sophia. Oh, wow. That is like it is seriously like the same shade. 
Like, both of them look so similar. And they both don't need, um, like, Fix Plus to intensify the, co the color. They both look very, very nice. I'm going to go in with the shade uh, Frida, which is the outer V color that I, <clears throat> excuse me, that I used. And I'm just going to go ahead and intensify it a little bit more. Just because I feel like it lost a little bit of the color from all the blending and then me adding the other shade. Sorry, I'm like trying to see how it looks. Okay. Going back into Sophia and kind of blend those two together like so. Alright, now I'm going to go in with the first original shade, which is the color Aria, which is this one. And I'm going to go ahead and blend all the shadows together. And like I said, this um, artistry palette has Fallout on that color Frida. I'm just trying to like dust it away. Now going in with the Mario one. Okay. So that is the um, what it looks like all blended out and everything. I don't really see much of a difference. Now the only thing that is bugging me is just that on this eye, the second shade that I used, which was the color Tuscany, and then the color, um, what was the color on the other one? Um, the color Violetta, which is a darker second crease shade that I used. It was much more darker in the Artistry palette, so and it was a lot harder to blend for some reason. So I'm going to grab like a smaller brush, um, another different brush, and try to just blend um, this right here. Because I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like a black like mark right there because I feel like it it was way darker. So I don't know, that's just really aggravating me, but <laughs> what can I do now? I mean, it is what it is, I guess. But yeah, that color, the second color um, in Violetta and Tuscany, those two are definitely, um, are super different in color. Like, like I said, the Violetta color in the Master Palette is a lot more chocolatey, more like um, a true brown. And the other one was more like, I don't know, even though it looks exactly the same in the palette, I feel like the color Tuscany was a lot more darker and like a deeper undertone, which kind of even came off like a gray brown. I don't know if you guys can see, but it really did. It really screwed me over right there, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> um but the other shades I feel like they are totally the same. And um let me go ahead and finish off my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my bottom lash line. And for that, I'm going to be going in with two little tiny fluffy brushes. The first one is the Morphe M152 brush. And I'm going to go in with the color um, Isabel. And I'm going to go ahead and put that all over my bottom lash line. And then... Going in with a BH Cosmetics little tiny um, brush. Gonna go in with the Artistry palette in the color Aria. Okay, so there you go. And I'm not gonna put any eyeliner today, I'm just gonna put some lashes on. I feel like I do a 
eyeliner in every single tutorial, so <laughs> trying to not use eyeliner for today's. Okay, so that's that. And I think that's how I'm going to leave the bottom lash line. I don't know. I feel like nowadays I've been like trying new things and I feel like the bottom lash line looks a lot better when it's not as bold. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of um, black eyeliner on my waterline. And this is the Profusion Black Eyeliner Pencil. You guys saw my last, not my last video, but the video before that, um, I did buy a couple things from Profusion, and this eyeliner has been, like, my favorite for, like, the last two weeks. Alright, so there goes the eyeliner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera, finish up my eyes. Like I said, I'm not going to go ahead and put on um, eyeliner. I'm just going to go ahead and put my lashes on. And I will be right back to let you guys know what I truly think of the Artistry Palette by Bad Habit. And if it really is a dupe, a good dupe for the Master Palette by Mario. And yeah, I'll be right back. Alright you guys, here is the finished look. Like I said, I did go ahead and finish off my eyes, put on some lashes, finish my contour, my blush, my highlight, my lip, um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is what the makeup looks like. Um, if you guys cannot tell, because I can't, unless you're like staring like really, really hard, um, there's really not much difference between these two palettes. Um, but yeah, now going in with my um, verdict on all um, this shenanigans. <laughs> so, the Measure Palette and the Artistry Palette. Are they dupes for each other? And yes, they are. <laughs> Um, I know there was only just one shade, like I mentioned, the color Violetta and the color um, Tuscany in the palette. Tuscany was a lot more like um, darker undertone, undertone kind of more like a black. And this one, Tuscany, is more actually, not Tuscany, I'm sorry, Violetta is actually more of a true chocolate color. Um, but other than that, they look very similar in color. Um... Like I said, you cannot tell I'm wearing two different palettes on my eyes. Uh, I just, I, I love both palettes, you guys. So, like I said, if you never got your hands on this, I do recommend for you to get the Artistry palette because, I mean, they're basically the same palette. <laughs> um, and like I said, I will go ahead and... Um, List it down below as well. I don't know if it's um, still online right now or on the um, Shop Hush app. Um, but like I said, I did get it a few days ago right when it released. I'm not sure when that was, but I mean, I got it like maybe three, four days later. Um, but yeah, I do truly recommend the Artistry Palette by Bad Habit. It is a complete dupe for the uh, Master Palette by um, Mario and Anastasia, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. So yeah, I hope you guys liked how this turned out. Um, leave me Leave me any like comments or anything if you want me to dupe another palette. I know in my last haul with um, all the different palettes that I got, I do have the Too Faced Just Peachy Ch um, palette and the um, Prism palette as well. Those two have a dupes um, palette in Shop Hush. So yeah, I can go ahead and do that for you guys. Alright you guys, so that is everything. And if you guys like watching this video, this dupes video on these amazing, beautiful palette, please give it a huge thumbs up and like this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. <laughs> Bye.